natural. Before we dive into this video, let's get one thing straight. I am not 100% against the use of PEDs, but what I am against is people lying about being natural. Because if you really think about it, there is so much wrong with telling people you're natural and then simultaneously having a trend bologna sandwich for breakfast. Especially if you're an influencer with a huge following, that just makes it 10 times worse. Fitness influencers that are lying to their fans is so f***ed up because it raises like false expectations and ultimately makes people feel like shit because the honest truth is they will never ever look like that. I fully understand that the fitness industry now is plagued with so many fake nighties that you can't even tell who's natural and who's not. These guys have just raised the standard of a good physique so high and then claim natural at the same time. People with actual good natural physiques will think they have terrible physiques because they are comparing themselves to these guys who are supposedly natural. So what I'm trying to say is the actual naturals will never be satisfied with their physiques because of these false expectations set by the fake nighties. So when I say fake nighties, a few people just come to my mind straight away. And in this video, I'm going to be going through like the most controversial guys in the industry. And some of these guys are natural, fair play to them. They are, they do have incredible genetics and like some of the best muscle insurgents I've ever seen but a lot of these guys are also lying so i'm going to be going through a few fitness influences that i feel like are chatting absolute shit and some that are actually honest and are natural i could be wrong i could be right i'm not a doctor i'm just using the research i've done and my personal opinion and my personal experience seeing people who aren't natural and seeing people who are natural so this is just my personal opinion based upon the research i've done essentially all right so let's get straight into the first person on the list alex Hubag. Probably the most controversial guys in the industry. This guy for me is one of like the hardest guys to judge if he's natural or not. But yeah, let's find out if he claims natural. Um, some people try to say like I'm a fake natty, which I am not. And I will always say that I'm not because I know that I'm not. I am 100% still like lifetime natty. If that ever does change, I'll be completely transparent on social media about it. So yeah, the guy claims natural as you can see from the video. Like he's really confident in his natural status. But to begin to analyze this guy, let's look at the stats. So according to his TikTok, he's 173 pounds and 5 foot 11 also. Which... I low-key think it's bullshit because there's a lot of posts of people saying he's 5 foot 8 some people even saying he's 5 foot 10 you know so I would say he's somewhere between 5 foot 8 and 5 foot 11 but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt 5 foot 11 173 pounds you have to take into consideration this guy has one of the most elite muscle insurgents I've ever seen on a human he blew up in the past year for his incredible physique and a lot of people saying that this guy is like the best looking natural bodybuilder out there so he really essentially blew up for his natural status and also simultaneously looking like he's on a ton of gear but being natural so putting forward that you can look good naturally in respect to the guy he's got an incredible physique so the real question is is he natural before I give my answer and my opinion on his natural status I want to list the reasons why I believe what I believe about this guy and my first and most important reason being is the guy is not actually that big although he looks absolutely huge on camera you have to realize that this guy is 173 pounds and he's 5 foot 10 5 foot 11 when this guy has a pump and he's standing in incredible lighting with a $5,000 camera and probably the best editing team in the industry to realize that all those aspects put together make someone look really good on camera So what I'm trying to say is he's not as big as a lot of people think he is Like if you see this guy with like a shirt on or a hoodie on he'll just look like he's just a casual lifter But when he takes it off and he stands at a good lighting with a chest and shoulder pump He looks incredible and honestly, that's just the tricks of the camera angles. He's admitted himself But um social media is all about angles lighting um, having a crazy pump and you like and you learn your angles as you do it So like as I've you can see as my concerts progress I've gotten way better at, like the way I take my shit and stuff right. like that having a crack camera helps you know what I mean right. so people don't realize that so yeah he's clearly telling you he's not that big it's just the cameras the angles the lighting so my main reason being is he looks incredible on camera this is why people think he's unnatural so is he natural believe so I think the guy's fully natural I can't lie my opinion on this guy is that he's natural he does work really hard and Honestly, he's been blessed with one in a million muscle insurgents. Like his physique is just made to make money. At this point, he literally just gets paid to lift and to look good and diet. And he probably has one of the most insane coaches out there monitoring his diet. I mean, it's not very hard to look as good as he looks with the position he's in at the moment. And obviously being blessed with some crazy genetics. Even with the whole controversy of his blood work and his test being very low, that could be due to multiple factors. Not the fact that he did a psalm cycle and his test levels just completely dropped. I mean, it could be, but in my opinion, it could have been due to multiple other factors. When your test level drops, doesn't necessarily mean it's due to steroids there could be other reasons yeah in my opinion i just don't see this guy taking steroids to achieve the physique he has achieved all respect to the guy he has got an incredible physique but to me that physique is fully attainable naturally if you work hard and eat right so yeah i believe alex Eubanks natural simple as that all right so the next most controversial guy that's blowing up recently the man himself shizzy <laughs> Thank you. 
This guy has basically taken over the fitness industry in the past few weeks by claiming natural with one of the most ridiculous physiques I've ever seen. Seriously, tell them. Okay, no, I get nothing from this. None of us are on steroids, okay? I don't take steroids. I'm a big person. He doesn't take steroids. He's a big person. It's hard work, dedication, and genetics. And be tall and be big at the same time and be natural. So what are the stats? Bro is six foot four, weighing 230 pounds. Think about that for a second. And the interesting part is this guy is actually very lean. According to his TikTok, he's like 12% body fat. Six foot four, 230 pounds, 12% body fat. To me, that screams steroids or one in a billion genetics. Him claiming natural has to be the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Okay, let's look at some controversial reasons for him being natural. The first point I'd like to bring up after doing some research on his TikTok is that he has a one year transformation video. And the interesting thing about this transformation video is it was taken six years after lifting. So if you put that into perspective, he's not in his new gain phase anymore. He's in a phase where it's very hard to build muscle naturally because he's been lifting for that long. And after six years, if you put the two pictures together, Together. This is him six years of lifting and this is him on his seventh year. It just doesn't make sense like Bro did that on purpose to make people suspicious of him taking steroids like it's just impossible Just look at the transformation in one year or spend that one year in the hyperbolic time chamber This again doesn't prove that it's unnatural But it's a very good reason to say that this man is on steroids The second point I'd like to mention is some guy did a randomized blood test on Shizzy and the results were quite interesting So when this guy did a blood test you can see that the BUN levels are higher than normal Higher than some people that I know that have taken trend Another thing that's very high on his test records is the AST levels again higher than some people on juice people say high protein diets mess up AST or vaping messes up AST but I'm almost certain Shizzy doesn't vape I mean the guy's so alpha it looks like he has fucking cigars for breakfast then again it goes back to the same point that these levels don't necessarily mean that he's unnatural it just points towards that direction of PED abuse so what's my final verdict on Shizzy my personal opinion I refuse to believe this man is natural he's in my opinion 100% taking steroids and is not being honest about it I mean which I find kind of disappointing because he's got a shit ton of kids looking up to him especially the fact that he's trending on TikTok like so many kids are looking up to this guy and thinking that that physique is naturally obtainable is just absurd I really want to think he's natural because of all the kids he's inspiring but come on like look at the guy six foot four 230 pounds 12 percent body fat just look at those stats alone you can just determine that this guy is not fucking natural respect to him though he's got an incredible physique crazy genetics if he is natural he's a literal anabolic specimen like this guy is literally jack hanma but then again jack hanma is also on steroids so yeah she's here natural the last person on the list is sam Sulek. if you think this guy is natural you need a reality check this guy is 21 years old and he looks like a olympian he's on a shit ton of steroids there's no doubt about that absolutely love the guy's content the guy's hilarious like with some with some intelligent engineering it seems that my quad workout will still go on this with... is why you're studying mechanical engineering exactly. this guy is all right yeah get out of here get out of here get out of here let me do my set <laughs> <laughs> the guy's hilarious. I love his content, but come on, he's on steroids. I'm pretty sure he's quite open about it as well. But if he does claim natural, this guy's the biggest fraud since f***ing Liver King. But this guy needs to be really careful. He's only 21 years old and he's already looking like an Olympian. Elite genetics, yes. Absolute PED abuse that could lead to a f***ing heart attack, yes. Liver failure, also yes. So yeah, some select's not natural. If you really had to think about this man being natural, then you're clearly new to gym and you need to do some research. Alright, so that brings us to the end of the video. Some honorable mentions of fake nights here on the screen right now that didn't make in the video. But yeah, like I mentioned before, if you have a very large following as an influencer or someone that a lot of people look up to and you're not natural, but you claim natural, you're misleading your fans and lying to your fans and essentially scamming your fans because these guys are buying your programs, buying your merch, watching your videos. And the honest truth is they will never ever look like you because you're not natural. It's just a harsh reality. Like I mentioned before, I'm not a doctor. These guys could be natural, but I very highly doubt that they are. There's like a negligible chance of them being natural. But yeah, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.